I'm Matt Orwich, and you're watching IFL.TV. Tap into IFL.TV. Log on and step inside the ring. Let's go, come on! All right, here it goes. It is scheduled for five four-minute rounds. Are you ready? <laughs> Did you see that there? Look at Horowitz. Taunting, this is something that's new to his repertoire as well. Coming out with the kicks. Now remember, McGivern was strong in punching. His last couple of fights has really improved his stand-up game. Yep, he can keep on punching. He can knock Horowitz out fast with one punch, but maybe a lot of them are going to do the trick. Also, very good wrestling background, so it's hard to take him down, and he should not go to the ground, because if it goes to the ground, Horowitz, man, he's very methodical. He will go in for a submission. Nice takedown here. Stay on the side mount. Very smart. McGivern getting the first takedown. Remember, he wrestled at a good program, the University of Iowa. He's got a good base. Very hard to get off. He's very low. Well, it looks like he's looking for a side mount. He's going to jump over my... Nope. Interesting action early here. McGivern is the one that has taken this to the ground, and there's Pat Melitich. There you go. Good. Yeah, gets it back on his feet. That's where McGivern needs to be in this fight, we believe. Right up, right up. Body shot, head, he's working everything. And that could be the key to victory here, you know? If inside, you hit him, inside shot to the body, maybe. There you go. Horowitz trying to clench up. Still maybe some angle. questions to the real punching ability of Horowitz. He did land a great punch, no doubt about that, against Raddick. But some think that might have come out of nowhere. We haven't really seen any kind of punching other than that one from Horowitz. Well, I was preparing uh, Randy Couture for his fight against Chuck Liddell, and uh, I was over there at Team Quest, and his mother uh, Get the got right him uh, Get so the right leg out. with me. And I got to tell you, man, Step back behind within it. an hour, we Step had to stop punching because Horwich was hurting his hands. He was hitting so hard that he was hurting his own hands. But uh, he should keep that up. If he keeps getting that up, you know, he's, <laughs> he's going to be very hard to beat. Well, as we talked about before, Horwich is a guy that you consider almost vertical wrestling here. He will be glad to waltz along the ropes all night long with his opponent. Yep. And that's a training McGivern for a guy like this who is perhaps the most unorthodox fighter in the IFL. Yep. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And this will be five rounds. Five rounds of dragging the opponent down. One minute left, one minute left, Ryan. Go out, go out. It's very hard to find a training partner that can mimic Horwich. You need to have a couple that constantly take, ooh, nice left kick to the body, that's where the liver is. That's a good kick, actually. Uppercut by nice. McGivern. Yeah, and he did some damage with that against Fabio Leopoldo. Remember, he whipped Leopoldo with that uppercut repeatedly. And now he pushes Horwich in the corner and delivers a knee. Yeah, but uh, to come back to that training, shark tank training is what they call it. You put some guys on the side, five guys preferably, and then every time one guy goes in for one minute, and that will be uh, about the fighting style of Horwich coming at you all the time. Knowing Pat Militich, I'm pretty sure he's trained. Horwich trying to get a knee and can't. McGivern breaking out of there. Yeah, McGivern coming forward also, you know? He doesn't do fake so. This is going to be He's got the best stamina. Final seconds of this first round. And this has been a tough round. McGivern pushes Horwitz in the corner. Nice. I like it. Live at the Eisen Center at Meadowlands on Friday, April 4th, when the International Fight League presents an action-packed night of mixed martial arts. For tickets, visit Ticketmaster.com or call 201-507-8900 now. Tap into IFL.TV. Log on and step inside the ring. Go. Round two of this middleweight championship bout. Matt Horwich first title defense. Ryan McGivern moving backwards and, and another takedown. And that's got another takedown. He's securing his, his takedowns here. 
And if you think about it, he might have pulled number round number one off. He is certainly taking the fight to the champ. Yeah. What we haven't seen the other challengers do, of course, uh, Roy Nelson in his fight is dominating. Walk that foot up. Going for it, first figure four there, Ryan McGivern is. Don't let him roll you up. That would be a huge upset if he could pull that one up. Scoop the leg. He's either going to do that Scoop or push leg, Ben Horwich's leg. right knee, and then pull his left leg out. He's either going to do that or push Ben Horwich's right knee, and then pull his left leg out. There we go. He's going to go for it. Horwich wants to lock up his hands now. Let me see. Yeah, he needs to. Because you can get on bar from here. You would almost say that in, in many cases, this is McGivern trying to beat Horwich at his own game, although McGivern certainly has a great wrestling background. He's got good crowd control, very hard to get off. Do you see, Horwich here locked his hands, so it's very hard to break that grip. Now he should go for it, yes. And you see, now Horwich, he's realized he's delayed. Now it's pure strength. Let's see what he can do. He's got to watch out here. Why McGivern is that Horwich doesn't buck up and throws him on his back. It's going to be difficult though because if he pushes the arm down, he can't walk up because he's going to show the lock himself by bucking up. McGivern continues to work against Horwitz. Yeah, that armbar. Would like to see a shot from the other side. There we go. There we go. He's, he's trying to stretch that arm out on Horwitz. Yeah, it's a difficult one to pull up. That armbar, you need a lot of strength. Horwich is strong. Everybody that I know who rolled with him told me he's freaky strong. And he doesn't get tired. Pound for pound, they say he's a lot stronger than most middleweights. You don't you think you're in there against at least a light heavyweight. Yep. If not a heavyweight at times from guys who've sparred with him. Neil O'Malley, does he want to go for a full mount? He goes for a full mount. I predict that Horwich is going to throw him to the right, by the way. Yeah. McGivern is very smart here not to go for a full mount. McGivern wants to side instead. You see, but McGivern cannot give him any space because at the moment he gives him any space, Horwich is going to pop out. He's going to go for submission or reverse. They're looking already for the, for the full guard. He'll probably get it now. Yeah. Hi. He's going to look now for go to Blair. You see that left this arm, you, you can't even find the left arm now of Ryan McGivern. And he's all wrapped up. Yeah, and Ryan McGivern here is uh, double jointed. He can be very happy that he is that. I wonder, can he possibly hang on for 25 more seconds? Look at this. Yeah, he needs to, to, he needs to hold his hand. Otherwise, it might go wrong. And there's a lot of transitions here. Like you said, yeah, he needs to roll into him. That's what he needs to do. But you see, Horwich got another one. He doesn't want him to roll into him. He may be saved here, though, by the bell with five seconds to go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, oh, is he going to stay? Yeah. Oh, is he going to stay? No! That's the bell. He tapped it. He tapped it. Because Horwich. Horwich is saying, no, the bell rang. He didn't tap. The Ice on Center at Meadowlands on Friday, April 4th, when the International Fight League presents an action packed night of mixed martial arts. For tickets, visit Ticketmaster.com or call 201 507 8900 now. Tap into IFL.tv. Log on and step inside the ring. go at least as McGivern hung in there and was saved by the bell. Every time, oh, nice combination here. He tags Horwich a couple of times. And every time Horwich is coming with a left kick to the body. And you watch later in the rounds, that could be it. At the end of round two, McGivern was saved by the bell. Horwich almost tried to finish him off. It was almost that he knew it was going to come to an end. Horwich had heard the bell and started celebrating. He thought he'd wrapped it up. Yep. But we fight on into round three, scheduled for five rounds. 
Well, why are we facing? Yeah, you don't want to go down. We don't want to reach for Horwich on top. Horwich trying to get to trip here. Horwich is in. 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 Gibbard hanging tough. Yeah, he's got great hips. Pushing him back. This, for the people at home who don't do mixed martial let me tell you, this is, it drains everything out of you. And they'll back off and McGibbon will try to throw something with horses. Follow his knee on take Go, 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 Nice right to the side of the head. And a good move. A hard one. That would go right at the student who had to fight for his body. Move it, move it, move it. Because you can't hurt him anywhere else. He's not been tested there yet. You know, he can be hard mentally and, and, and strong, but the body shot will take everything away. Nice. Great combination by Ryan McGivern. His best punches of the night. Oh, that left kick there again. Horwich with the kick to retaliate. Then even flinch, came back right away, it's crossed to the body. There's that left kick to the body again. He needs to watch out for that. Overcut by McGivern. Oh, body shot himself from McGivern. Oh, good. It's crazy. McGivern, we talked about how much he has improved as a puncher. now yeah. perhaps just catching the breath at this stage. You can see the redness on the right side of McGivern where he's caught those kicks from Horwich. All this wrestling is working the abs, your core of your body real hard. When the core gets worked real hard, it blows up with lactic acid. And when that happens, it gets all tight. And that means that your lungs can't breathe really and stop your lungs from really expanding. And these are two of, if not the best two conditioned guys in all the international fight league. This is 12 rounds he probably said that they could go. Both of them are going through the body the whole time. Orwich with that left kick. And McGivern with the left body shot. And you're right. They're, they're both well conditioned. They can keep on going. It's the one who's going to get tired first. Punches now with McGivern. 30 seconds, Ryan, 30 seconds. Push off and throw, Flurry. That just missed. That left kick rushes against the nose of McGivern. Orwitz has had his best strikes in this round. Well, this is so tiring. Tap into IFL.TV. Log on and step inside the ring. As we go to the fourth round, Morwich is going to come out and swing. Encountering with that though. Right away, moving to the it's right. Horrible. Very smart. And another. He keeps on. It's crazy. The pace. After all this pushing and wearing it around now, to still Stop keep punching like that. Again with that body shot, constantly the training. Left kick from left body shot by head. This is the right knee straight through the middle. Lock those hips, pull, pull, pull. Go, wizard. Yeah, tell him to go that wizard, get away from you guys. He doesn't yep. need to be going down to the mat. And, oh, control, 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 control. Control. 
Brad is screaming, half control. Instructions to Horwich. Submission at top. And sweet. Freeze, but then they had to move. To move. Mario, I've got to keep it. Repositions. Freeze, don't move. Don't yeah, move. but then they move. <laughs> if you do that with the cop, if they say freeze, they shoot you. You've got to watch out now. McGivern is. Can explode to the right, explode to the left. Horwich can. If he doesn't reverse him, there's always a little opening that comes. Remember, way back in the second. Explode to the right. Horwich almost had the submission. McGivern saved by the bell. Yep. And in order to explode to the right, he needs to plant his right foot down. Right now, he doesn't want to do that because then McGivern is going to pull his left leg out. Again, let's look for the reverse for the four, but you know, this is good. Young Zach is doing a good job here, putting him back. Nothing really happened. Now, last couple of times, I'll have straight. And uh, that body shot, you see over. Oh, 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 nice turning angles here. If you look at the right, the, what is it? Yes, the right side of Ryan McGiver, and it's all red there. Knees to the sides, throw with a little bit more power to, to do damage. Live at the Ison Center at Meadowlands on Friday, April 4th, when the International Fight League presents an action-packed night of mixed martial arts. For tickets, visit Ticketmaster.com or call 201-507-8900. Now, tap into IFL.TV. Log on and step inside the ring. We go into the final round of the Middleweight Championship. The champ, oh, Matt Horwich in the red. Buddy, buddy attack. Ryan McGillan trying to take that title away. Good right. Again. He's working. McGillan is much more effective in these later rounds with his punches. Yep. He keeps this up. I believe he's going to take the place. Good. Given a much better striker, Horwitz more robotic in his boxing moves. Yep. But he's got that dangerous kick. He's got it. 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 He's Trying to hold on a little bit. Maybe for the first time ever, Matt Horwich is trying to catch his breath in a fight. It's crazy. If you do it right, you use the kneecap, and it's, it's worse than a low kick. Load him up as high as you can, and just fire away. Not like that, all the way Final round action here, middleweight championship. Matt Horwood's trying to hold on to his title. Has Ryan McGivern done enough so far? Horwood's, remember, almost ended this way back in the second. And they move 
move him back out. This would seem to be the best chance for McGivern to get some more shots in. Still has to watch out. Throw the little right that beats is open for the left of the body. I'll tell you, this is round number five. If you breeze in and he gets one, it'll be over. He's doing really good. This one up. Seems the other time they met, it was a unanimous decision victory for Ryan McGibbon in what was almost an entire grappling exhibition. It was about 90% on the match. Well, now we got best of both worlds. Under a minute and a half to go in this championship fight. The question now is Matt Horwich, has he done enough to retain his championship? Unless something happens here in the next minute plus. Yeah. I think so too. I think Ryan, thank God I'm not a judge, is ahead of us. McGivern has certainly scored more with his punches. Had some takedowns early. Oh, and has dictated much of this pace to the surprise, perhaps, of that match. McGivern continues to tattoo Horwich. Man, for every future fighter who's gonna face any of these two fighters, you better come in the shape of your life. And again, a good, strong left there by McGivern. He's just firing away. McGivern is scoring punch after punch in this fourth and fifth round, this final round. It has been McGivern's round. And he's pushing Horwich backwards. Something you, I don't think we ever saw. Has McGivern done enough? He has won the last two rounds for sure, but this was a five-rounder. Did Horowitz do enough to retain his championship? And it became evident in the fourth and then here in the fifth round that Ryan McGivern, the better of the punchers, more of a boxer taking over and scoring, particularly with the uppercut, and following that with his overhand just missing the always dangerous kicking ability of Horwich. But again, it was McGivern punch after punch. Many of them stinging, all of them scoring. Ladies and gentlemen, before we make this official, please, if you will, give a hand to both of these fighters. Unbelievable effort and stamina in the ring tonight. With a title belt on the line, we turn it over to the judges' scorecard. We do have a unanimous decision. Judge Adelaide Bird scores the bout 48-47. Judge Roy Silbert, 48-47. Judge Glenn Trowbridge, 49-46 for your winner. And new middleweight champion of the International Fight League, Ryan McGivern. What a victory for Ryan McGivern, the new middleweight champ. Punches that consistently added up over the course of the fight and a dominant fourth and fifth round for Ryan McGivern to take the title, the short-lived title away from Matt Horwich. Live at the Ison Center at Meadowlands on Friday, April 4th, when the International Fight League presents an action-packed night of mixed martial arts. For tickets, visit Ticketmaster.com or call 201-507-8900 now. Tap into IFL.TV. Log on and step inside the ring.